Howdy gangsters, welcome to your 30th Android tutorial for my bring back with me Travis and what we're going to get into today is creating that canvas, drawing to the canvas, talk about this holder thing a little bit um, and then uh, we'll probably do like one maybe two more tutorials on this. Uh, after we get all done I'll talk through everything that we've done so if you guys get a little confused along the way uh, make sure you check out that, that little tutorial overview. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to utilize this holder to make sure that we can actually draw to our canvas, make sure the surface is valid, and where we're going to do that is within our run method. And we're going to again do that within this, uh, you know, this if statement. If our thread is okay to be to run, basically, if it's running, um, then we're going to check if our holder is available, or basically if our surface is available so we can draw to it. And if it is, then we're going to create a canvas and draw to that canvas. And actually. Uh, good thing we, uh, good thing you guys are watching this tutorial, because this was supposed to be a while loop. I'm sorry, not a uh, if statement. So as long as it's our thread is running, as long as that variable, that boolean valuable variable, is set to true, we're going to do this while loop. So this is kind of like the invalidate. We called that invalidate method um, that would just basically cause it to loop through. Um, this time we're actually creating a while loop. So as long as our thread is you know running and it's okay to run we're gonna you know create all our stuff within here and now we're gonna set up an if statement yeah it's an actual if statement this time I'm not messing up here but uh, what we're gonna do within this if statement is say holder we're gonna say dot get surface and then we're just gonna say dot is valid so basically it's like hey if our surface is valid that's cool but what we're actually gonna do is we're just gonna put an exclamation mark right be before um, you know this whole method here and what that's saying is basically if it's not valid and all we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, oops you don't really have to create brackets but I'm just going to um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna say continue and what the continue method does if you spell it right um, what it's gonna do is basically if you write anything down here um, it's gonna skip over that it's just gonna be like hey you know the surface is not valid so we're gonna continue so it's gonna call back up to the top up here loop through again if it's still not available it's again just gonna kinda loop through here and it's never gonna reach this code down here but if if this statement returns a false value which means our surface is available it's gonna skip um, you know this whole if statement because you know if our surface is available it's not even going to call this continue method so that's going to allow us to access this code down here and this is where we're going to create our canvas so what we need to do is we need to set up a canvas we're just going to call this canvas C we're going to set this equal to our holder again dot lock canvas and basically the way that the canvas works uh, within a thread or what we're doing here within a surface view is we need to lock the canvas and then paint to the canvas and then unlock it and display it. So, you know, if you guys are creating a masterpiece, you generally go in your closet, you lock the door, you paint like some crazy stuff, and then you're like, okay, that looks good. I'm going to unlock the door and show it to the world. So, that's kind of the same concept here. We need to lock our canvas first, then we paint to it, then we unlock it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say canvas and let's set up the background color. So we're just going to say draw um, and we have this uh, ARGB uh, value. So A is for alpha and these are all int values 0 to 255 is the highest that you can go. So for alpha we want it to have you know 255 for that way it's not transparent or anything. For red value um, let's put that at like 150 our green value let's do 150 our blue value will do like 10 I don't know you guys can mess around with the colors uh, those are just the values of the red green and blue so again you can go up to 255 there as well um, so basically that's just gonna paint our background of the canvas and then what we do is we we relate to our holder again and we just say dot unlock canvas and post and then we post which canvas we want uh, and again we call this canvas C so that's the canvas we're unlocking and posting to the world and as long as again this variable is set to true 
it's just going to keep circling through. It's going to basically be like, again, our invalidate method that we used, um, but now it's just in a while loop that's going as long as our thread is set to true. Hope that makes sense. Um, but what we're going to do now is, uh, you know, because this is just kind of boring, we want to draw that bitmap, and we also maybe want to touch the screen, touch the canvas, and allow our, our activity to do something that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our on create method and we probably won't have time uh, to do this uh, all this stuff in this tutorial but what we're gonna do is we're gonna say our view and we're gonna say dot set on touch listener kinda like the on click listener that we've done previously with the buttons and stuff and we're gonna say this and we're gonna allow our class to implement uh, the on touch listener which appears right here um, so that's basically what this is referring to, which listener, um, you know, the listener that we're implementing. And then we're going to go over to our surface view here and add the unimplemented methods. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we have this on touch method, which we'll get, it, get into in the next tutorial. Um, but basically just change these variable names from arg0 to v for view and our, and our motion event from arg1 to um, me, motion event. 